Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Blanks. Um, today I will be showing you how to mount custom content uh, or any source game to Hammer. This supports Hammer++ or the normal Hammer, it also works. But this is for Gmod only. This is mounting for Gmod. This doesn't work on any other game. Or I don't, I don't know. I've only used it for Gmod, so if it's uh, in any other game, um, well, yeah, you follow the steps if it's in any other game. Alright, so uh, uh, these textures uh, from, are from CS Source, and uh, in this model, and these right over here, and I don't, I currently don't have them. Alright, they're not mounted. Okay, so how to mount them is. Firstly, make sure to save first, um, and then exit. Okay. Now, um, open your your Steam directory, and once you're in your Steam directory, um, go to Steam apps, and then press on come. Uh, just this a bit a quick disclaimer. This doesn't work for any uh, cracked version of Gmod. This only works for the Steam official version. All right. So you gotta once you're in Steam and then you press on Gomen, click on Gary's mod, and then you gotta click on Gary's mod again. All right. And click on CFG. This one. All right. So look at find this find located and then you gotta you can open it uh, you, you have to open it I think so with notepad plus plus or the normal notepad but this notepad is, is way better I'll leave the link in the description if you want it but here it is click on it okay you will see all of this okay um, Alright, I have T TF2 and Portal 2 and Half-Life 2 mounted. Alright, but I'm missing the Counter-Strike 2. Uh, Counter-Strike, sorry, Counter-Strike Source. Um, as you can see, go, go to your library. Alright, right here. Steam library, sorry. And find the Counter-Strike Source. Right here. So you have to download it from Steam. Um, or if you don't own it you have to buy it all right so go to click on this gear right here and go to manage and then browse local files all right after that um, you're gonna find the folder called C strike click on it and then uh, this like bar on top click right here and then right click and copy Alright, after that go to the amount of CSG that you opened, okay, and then uh, make a space for it, or wait, wait, you could just add it right, right here, alright, you probably won't have these, because if you're watching this you probably don't know how to mount the games, but you're probably gonna have these two, C-Strike and TF, these two, alright, you're just gonna, gonna, gonna skip them, alright, and go here okay and uh, it's probably gonna it's probably gonna like start you right over here so you gotta press tab and it's gonna send the this right over I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense but you'll see if you press tab it will shift this uh, like m more further in instead of pressing space all right so um, now uh, okay, so um, you're gonna have to add like two quotation marks right over here, all right? And then type the name. Uh, if you don't want to mount uh, Counter Strike uh, source, all right? You and you um, you gotta go to the source game that you want. It has to be from source, not gold source. Source. Uh, for example, Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, click on it and find this this folder. It's in any source game, as you can see, like TF TF2. It's right here. TF. This is it. Right. Find the name of that folder, as you can see right here, and find the name of it. Then 
you gotta type C strike. The, the name of the folder first. The name of the of the folder that of this folder. It's in any uh, source game. Okay. Uh, after that, you gotta skip here right here and then press tab again. Okay. Then another two quotation marks and then paste the path here. This is where you paste it. All right. Then that's it. You have the you have it mounted. You save it, okay, and then try opening hammer. As you can see, it's gonna say right here mount the CFG adding path to every game you mount. All right, this is right here. It's just loading. Then you gotta op open the map that you want to add uh, uh, the the custom content. All right, and then as you can see, it loaded. Right here. It's all right here. The textures are back. Right, as you can see, uh, everything. Uh, I made this video because uh, I had this problem uh, a while back and I couldn't find any solution for it. But I finally found the solution. And um, yeah. So I'll be making another video soon on how to add custom textures and custom sounds. Alright. So um, see ya.